Good. If I was a customer, I would walk out right now. I wouldn't sit here to see the finishing product. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing something kind of weird. Ramen nail noodle. Ramen noodle nails. There we go. The challenge is, though, to make it look good in something you can see yourself wearing for the long haul. So it's not good enough just to put ramen noodle on the nail, which is already hard enough, but actually to make it look good. Wish me luck, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's start. Got my ramen. I'm going to use a blender to blend this up. What is it called? Food processor. I think it's called food processor. Let's not try and make too much of a mess here. That's probably all we're going to need. I'm not going to need too much. Yeah. Not blending too hot. Let's try to do it a little longer. It's not as powdery as I would like it to be. That yeah, should be fine. All right, we're gonna grab some stuff. Grab some paper towels so we can clean our brush. Now, I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit on this challenge because why? The goal is not to just apply ramen and create a nail of it. That's been done before. Our goal is to create a nail that's mostly ramen that can be worn, you know, for a relatively, you know, normal amount of time, two weeks, three weeks. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of acrylic powder, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my ramen to that. It's still like 90% ramen, but what the acrylic powder is gonna do, it's gonna help it stick and build a structure. Should have gotten a lid or something. Oh well, I'll just mix it up using this tiny little custom spoon I made. And you guys want to see what that looks like. This is what it looks like. It's clean enough for the most part. So we're going to be using forms. I'm not going to be using any primer or bonder of any sort because I really don't want this to stay on. I don't want to be walking around with a ramen nail. All right, just gonna apply this form. Oops, drop that. Boom, 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 boom. I do apologize uh, how my nails look in today. It's not the best. I need to do a manicure, trim it up, file it. Nails looking rough, guys. Clean my brush, soften it up. All right, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Yeah, all right. Picking some stuff up. God, that's disgusting. All right, that's not working out as well as I hoped it would. More acrylic powder. All right, added a lot more acrylic powder. I think I should have made that ramen a little bit finer. Oh well, now I know for next time. Whenever a client asks me for ramen nails, now I know how to do it. Lots of acrylic powder. Finer mix of ramen. That was just way too chunky. And this is way too much ramen for what I need. I'm wasting so much product right now. Did not go to school to do this. Come on. Lay on there. Okay. Getting somewhere. This is starting to give me a like like cereal vibe, like, I don't know, Fruity Pebbles? No. What am I trying to say? What kind of cereal does this look like? You guys tell me in the comment section below. You guys falling everywhere. This is no bueno. God, if I was a customer, I would walk out right now. I wouldn't sit here to see the finishing product. Get it there, nice and close to the cuticle. Remember guys, the rule is always leave a margin. Don't let it touch the cuticle. Remember, always build your apex. Build your apex. Yo, get off me. Well, <coughs> we certainly have an apex, that's for sure. Is it just me or am I missing some product right there? Yeah. Let's just, you know, at this point, there's no saving it. There's no point in trying to make it look fashionably appealing 
or appetizing. So we're just going to layer it on there. Why the heck not? Just layer. It's actually not turning out too bad. Try and pick that guy back up. Yep. Now let's try and pick some of these pieces up and try to stick it onto our nail. Is it, oh yeah, they'll stick. God, it looks like somebody just threw up on my finger. It looks like my dog ate ramen and just like threw up, threw up on this finger. You know, Teddy. You know, ramen's not good for you. It doesn't go well with your stomach. Well. I guess I'm doing an almond shape. Not bad so far. It's a little bit crunchy. I must admit. Oh, I'm missing a little bit of product on the side. Show that in there. Why not, right? Can't wait to see what I'm going to do next. Good. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot to put a debonder on there. Dang it. Hopefully this doesn't stick too much. You know what? As far as the nail goes, I mean, it's kind of thick. But... You know, it's not... I think I think it's workable. I think it's workable. Alright. Let's let this dry for a little bit. I'll set that aside and banish it to oblivion later. Because we're never going to talk about this ever again. God, I need to vacuum this place afterwards. Just think about eating that leftover ramen. I can make it like a small bowl of ramen. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, it's fine. It's still workable. Gotta be careful. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's almost there. What the heck? You know, it's actually filing. Oh, nope, that is not dry yet. We will let that dry some more. Yeah. Now I think if I had were if I were to make that ramen finer, probably I could have done it a different way or lay down a lot smoother. Oh, definitely lay down a lot smoother. I should probably use my e file for this. It's taking forever. You know what? I'm gonna whip out the drill. Hold on. This drill. And the rums and the crow dust flying everywhere. So focused right now. I just realized that I could just move this back and have all this dust on there. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. I just gotta do a lot of cleaning up afterwards. Alright. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever made.
I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. All right, I just wanna go wash my hands. Set this aside. All right, it's all done. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about dehydrating it, or not dehydrating, but cleansing it. It's actually a pretty cool design. I'm not entirely mad at it. I mean, it's different. Yeah. Let's see if this gets brighter. No. It's, uh, hmm. Well. I guess that's it. I mean, it's doable. This is stiff. Like, I can see this being warm for a while. Now, guys, do not put food in your nails. Do not be crushing up ramen. This is just for fun. Don't actually put food in your nail, okay? That's how infections happen. That's how you cause... That's how your nails turn yellow. That's how fungus grows. I mean, don't put anything organic or food in your nails, guys. This is just for fun. Do not do this at home and think it'll last and you rock this for a long time or you're trying to like, substitute acrylic powder for ramen because ramen is so much cheaper. Don't do this, guys. All right. It's just for fun to see if we can do it. I mean, it's pretty interesting kind of design. It's like a... Um, like opal marble kind of thing going on. I don't know how to describe it. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, please consider hitting the subscribe and the like button down at the bottom. Hit that bell notification whenever uh, we post a new video. Um, we post videos about designs, tip, tips and tricks, things like this, uh, rules and regulation changes. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a message on Instagram, Facebook, or in the comment section below. and We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.